A very good morning. You're watching News 9 with me, Deepak Bopuna. And first up, they were out to have fun but ended up in hospitals after their plan to have fun went horribly wrong. Now, five youths from Henganahalli were out in the night with their bikes to perform stunts. Now, Away, Saif, Shahbaz, Nadeem and Abdullah, all residents of Henganahalli decided to perform wheelies around the government school in the same area. Now, while each one of them were trying their hand at the stunt in high speed, they rammed into each other. Now, this left all of them with severe injuries and soon after that, they were admitted to a private hospital. In this private hospital in the Sunkat Kate, while it received most of them, one of them is said to be severely injured with injuries to his head. No case has been registered at the Pena Traffic Police Station. Now, as you see, the condition of these bikes heavily damaged. We time and again see youths trying stunts like these on the roads. And time and again, it has led to accidents and even death at, at certain times. Now, in this particular incident, one of them is said to be critical and is battling for life in the hospital, while others are severely injured. So, quite a shocking incident once again. The youths going on to perform stunts, which almost claimed one of their lives. We have one of the residents who spoke to us. Let's listen in. It is at 12 o'clock I get back on the side. When half an hour back early, our over speed all that vehicle all. It is night time all. Bedega time all no. Sumar illinda Ganesha Devasthan all go. Night all go. Sumar sanna putta all. At night all that. Awaga waga. Tomba over speed all get back on the side. Ibru bike all all. Ibru speed all get back on the side. Ibru go good good condo. Tomba mele khari jumpak bidhi all. Ibru bike all ibru udgori all. In one and bike all ibru 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 udgori bidhu putu. Tomba the heeta gate. Quite another shocker here. The resident also going on to say that the bikes might have been in very high speed for this kind of an accident to happen and it's quite evident from the kind of damage caused to these vehicles. Now, each bike had two people, one at the back as well. So, four people in total in these two bikes rammed into each other. Well, moving on, it is mandatory for all government offices to hoist the tricolour atop their building. But a Gram Panchayat office near Bijapur seems to think otherwise. Here's a report. This is the Arakeri Gram Panchayat office near Bijapur. And as one would expect, the tricolour is fluttering atop the Gram Panchayat office in all its glory. You may wonder what's wrong here. Take a closer look. Yes, the tricolour hoisted atop the Arakiri Gram Panchayat office is torn, but none of the Panchayat members have bothered to look into it. When asked, the Panchayat official stated that they were not aware of the same. In Lodi, by mistake, that no deal was lost. That is not true. But the villagers have a different tale to narrate. They say that the Panchayat members hoist the flag according to their whims and fancies. According to the rules, the flag is supposed to be hoisted at 10.30 in the morning and lowered not later than 5.30 in the evening. But no one cares about the rules at this Gram Panchayat office, is what the villagers say. The matter has been taken to the Bijapur Deputy Commissioner, who has served a notice to the Gram Panchayat and has promised to pull up those responsible for the glaring mistake. All said and done, it is a matter of shame that a torn national flag has been hoisted. One can only hope that the tricolour is not disrespected like this in the future. Ashok Yadahalli for News 9, Bijapur. Now, a private school in Devnali has been accused of functioning without permission. Now, the school, though, blames the block education officer of accepting bribes to deny them permission. Here's a report. The school gates are locked. But the school is not shut. Students are being taught inside like culprits locked inside a prison. Wow. 
This is a scenario at Isaac Newton Private School in Devanahalli. The school has received permission to run just lower and upper kindergarten classes, but the school is conducting classes till 7th grade. A case is underway in this regard at JMFC court. The school authority claims that the block education officer is to blame. They claim that he has been bribed by the neighbouring SLS school to deny permission to their school. The Isaac Newton School authorities who claim that they are not at fault misbehaved with the media when they were approached for a clarification. The head of SLS school rubbishes the allegations of bribe. On the reputed shala ke kettes tarbe ko anta kanta hunna raste sare do. Now last six years in the no 100% result korte aadi vese sal sale. Alla permission sala taki the kani devi. Shala tumba chana na dista devi. Yon shala kettes tarbe ko anta aag der tak kanta or idhar maat naar der tak kanta dastai mo. The BEO also rubbished the allegations made by Isaac Newton school authorities. He claimed that he has not taken any kind of bribe from private schools. Isaac Newton shala yegagle murnal kvatshegala hinde irta kanta do ad anadukta shala agero drenda na patrika prakshnan karta idive. Matto yalla pamphlets yalla kora anche post kare aru kora shala shares bardo ne maklan shares sudra nive job daru anthele idive. Y prakaran kora staliya nayal dalle criminal daave na urla agere. The increased number of private schools is the reason for all the trouble. Parents should do a strict background check before admitting their kids to illegal private schools. A new Snan report. Now, several Kanadiga families are being forced to live on the road after the Goan government demolished their huts a few days back. Now, the Karnataka government has sent a delegation to meet the Chief Minister of Goa and help the stranded Kanadigas. Here's a report. Look at these people. They are Kanadigas who have been living in Goa for the last 45 to 50 years. All these families are from Uttar Kannada district who migrated to the neighboring state to earn a living. They are directed shanties on Baina Beach and the Goan government has now called this area a slum. Ever since they have been living here, the government has constantly troubled them. But on the 11th of this month, their huts were demolished. The 74 Kanadiga families are now compelled to live on the roads. With monsoons having arrived, they are leading a miserable life. But the government of Karnataka has rushed to their help. A delegation under the leadership of Higher Education Minister R.V. Deshpande is in Goa now and efforts are on to get help for the stranded families. <laughs> Takshana you get Purusti Kendali, now was Badli Kaukash Kurbeku, Ale, Uta, Tindi, Kulid Niru, Sauchalaya, in our shaken of Marbek and Wandu. Yer Nedu is Sarkara, Yard Savera Mundes with the Yamane Kirdala, our Yer Purus Madila. Puna Kero Munden Maneda or Abu is good to that. Has Sarkar Kare, Purusti Bagavan Karaka Virbeka. Apart from the government, several organizations have extended a helping hand to these families. The seer of Panchamasali Mutt in Bagalkot has visited the place with food. The Swamiji said that it was unfair on the part of the Goan government to demolish huts during monsoon season. It is learned that there are about a thousand huts on Baina Beach and the Goan government has issued notices to vacate them. Since the Karnataka delegation is in Goa to seek help from the Goan government, the troubled families can stay optimistic. Sandeep Sagar for News 9 from Vasco. Now, Madikeri welcomed the rains with open arms just a few days ago, but in the last few days, the showers have only become a curse for the people here. Here's why. Madikeri has been receiving heavy rainfall for the last 15 days. While the people were seen initially enjoying the rains, now the showers have brought with them absolute mayhem. Look at this road. It looks more like a river.
This is the condition of South Kurg. The incessant rains have flooded the streets in Kurg. Apart from Kurg, various other places like Balele, Nitturu and Karamoru have been inundated. People are facing a lot of problems as their daily activities are being disrupted due to the incessant rainfall. Surface communication has been completely cut off as well. ಕಚೇರಿಗೆ <laughs> The rains have not only flooded the district, but have also filled up the Kaveri and Lakshmanatirtha rivers. The district administration has put in place a few measures to help the victims of the flood-affected areas. Bagmandalalli local sige orderli ke boat yosse jaladal the dinna kalpishlagi the matta eri ke yada ga mane orderle near nugu ondo sadhi te erodu dinna anta mane kalle ke kandaiyala ke vati dinna na already thilsi divi yau kadele orki ganji ke andra madla go talaka vire devasthan ke sanchar tarde inu continue agta the jaladal the vati dinna do madhi da ondo tarde atne inu continue agi the. Last year, Madikeri recorded a rainfall of 1,343.99 mm, but this year it has increased to 1,923.66 mm. If the rains continue at this pace, it won't be too long before the entire district faces a major crisis. Manjunath KB, News 9, Madikeri. And the monsoon is here, but Davangari still faces an acute shortage of water. Now, what's the reason? Take a look. River water is a main source of water to Damangare residents. The rivers are filled only when the water is released from Badravati Dam. The dam is filled to the brim, but the water has still not been released. This has caused a problem to the residents of New Davangare. Kaveri ane kati nali niro yi bade ke sabchen til da idro seita niro ani mitara. Aadar nam Badravati kati nage niro sabchen idro seita niro bade ke raidri ke thondre kurta thare. Residents now depend on tankers for water. They pay heavy amounts to get their most basic need fulfilled. Water tanker suppliers are charging high prices as they have realized they are the only source of water for the residents. All over the Angara supply Marti, we got channel near Illa, Valley near Illa, Valley near Portera, Alla the Angara Stokota, was the Angara Korta Illa, Kiriella Dumbi, the Kalegi, the Kundar Kiri by the Dutation. So Angan on near supply Marti. Residents fear that there will be no water left to supply. If the Badravati Dam officials don't release water, will action be taken in this regard? Basavaraj Durdamani, News 9, Davangare.